What did it mean to you the, the other night to have reality winner herself at the premiere of the film? It was amazing. I'm so glad that she made it. Um, I had met her a few times. I visited her. Amelia visited her. And she's like become a friend over the years as we've you know, um, been working on this movie. And I was really hoping she would get a chance to come and celebrate it. Uh, and there was just this moment when people gave her, gave her a standing ovation after the movie. And it was, I think it was just overwhelming in a good way for, for her. And for me, it definitely was. Um, anyway, you work on these things and you kind of like get really involved in the granular choices and you forget the sort of potential for something to like have that sort of emotion. So anyway, it was really incredible that she was here. And Amelia, what was it like for you in, in meeting reality and, and working on the film? I mean, I was so grateful that I had the opportunity to go to Reality's house and spend time with her. And I met all the animals that she's rescued. And uh, we went for dinner. And I did her yoga class um, and her CrossFit class. Um, and Susanna did her CrossFit class, too. I couldn't walk afterwards. Could you? Um, I think she went easier on me because okay, I didn't cool. have to transform my body. I was just doing <laughs> yeah, it sort yeah. of to show her that okay, I... Okay, yeah, cool. Well, that was actually... I, I felt like I needed to show reality that I could play her. So well, while I was working out, she would be like, okay, like 25 um, burpees or whatever. And I'd be like, okay. And I'd start and I'd be so tired that I would then kind of stop when she turned around. And then when she turned back, I did, I'd be I like, did that. 25. I did that too. 26. I did that. <laughs> so I would try and cheat, which reality definitely knew what was going on. But I, yeah, I was so grateful that I had the opportunity to spend time with her. And I thought I would have all these questions to ask her going into meeting her, but I just found myself getting to know reality as a person. And um, yeah, that, that's what we're trying to do with this film. We're trying to humanize reality and show people that she's so much more than a, than a name and a headline. And we're trying to take her away from the politics of it all. And um, yeah, reality was so, so welcoming and, and open. And um, yeah, I'm so lucky that I was able to have the time to spend with her. Danny, for you, what, what was it like in that, you know, your part in the film is very much about showing a side of reality that like we don't know that a lot of people haven't seen sort of her just life in a way and what did it mean to you to be to be a part of that you know that part of the storytelling well i think th from the first conversation that suzanne and i had about the why andre was in the film in the first place i think was you get to meet people when they're at work or maybe out and about but in really intimate places where they let their guard down and finally are able to express how they're feeling or just even like the like dropping of your shoulders and like really easing into something really shows you the full dimension of someone and so i think the really um all the scenes that emily and i did um and the progression of it i think it, it just it was able to show you a full relationship and how this person during that time in her life um was able to navigate and juggle all these things but like more important than anything just like lift the veil up and like really show um, someone's like private life and uh, yeah and that it, like watching it just like all of it felt so beautiful and real and and it, to me it made like that last scene like I never got to see the photo right, yeah. that I took with the with the pup and then the ring mm -hmm. and then just to see how that played and just to hear the uh huh I think it really yeah. it resonated with people because Zach for you you bring such a sense of empathy to your part and it really brings a sort of a dramatic heart to the film in a way and for a story like this that's told with such an unusual tone like how do you kind of find the the sort of the, the, that empathetic heart in in the character um i think for me i knew going in that um reality was really close to her dad and there was a lot of love there and i think being a parent myself you can draw on that kind of stuff. And that's basically what I did. Because there was no um, research really available on Ron because he had passed and there was no real video. There's a couple of photos. So that's what I had to go on. And, uh, you know, you don't want to... You, I think the hardest thing for me as an actor... I know that's a loose term for me. Um, <laughs> is the tone... You know, I don't want to... Tone is always... The hardest thing when you just show up on set to figure out what is the tone here, but I think the tone of this movie, comedically, along with the drama, is is really pitch perfect. Mm -hmm. Susanna did a really very good job with the balance of that. You can go too jokey sometimes and it kind of skewers the storytelling, and I think it was just perfect amount of humor in this movie. And I'm always wondering when I see dramatic things, where is anyone's humor? Yeah, know. You know, you see these 
no offense to Christopher Nolan, none of them have a sense of humor. <laughs> not, not one character. So I, I, I always get baffled by that. And Susanna, can you talk about that? The, the fact that I think the film is funnier and, dare I say, wackier than I think people expect. And what was it that wanted you to tell reality's story in that way? You know, she is so funny. So it really starts with who she really is. Um, you know, she's a huge comedy nerd. She, she watches a lot of comedy. And she's just very funny. Like, a lot of the, the tweets and posts and texts that she wrote to people that were taken out of context to kind of, like, paint her as this, like, traitor and enemy of the state were actually just her being sarcastic and funny um, and in ways that were just so dry and so sharp. So she kind of, she sort of set the tone, you know, and I think, like, to Zach's point, too, um, I think the, w the way that the people in my life deal with tragedy or, like, anything really is we kind of, we joke about it, you know, or e even, even tragedy in our own lives, you know, there's like, there's gallows humor to it. There's like cheering each other up with a joke that might be inappropriate. There's, you know, I think about like certain um, things that have happened like in politics in this country and how my friends and I talk about it and joke about it. Uh, and you kind of want to see that side of people engaging with it because part of it is denial. Part of it is like, how am I processing this? I'm going to joke about the worst case scenario with my friends and we're going to be like, is it bad? Is it really bad? It's going to be really bad, the election? Yeah, it's going to be bad, right? Like, and we tell jokes about it. So to not have any of that feels a little bit like you're watching a play because you're watching really earnest people and those aren't the people in my world. Yeah. So I, I don't know. And I also think that if you, if you show people that are sort of have that like humor and heart and humanity, then when they're really unable to find any light or spark in something, it's really affecting. Like watching the moment when reality, like she can't fight, she can't make a joke, she's just like defeated. It's that much more, I think that much more dramatic because you've seen how buoyant and funny she is. There's nothing more clever than the truth. And this story is so clever and funny because it's just true. And then we lean into that and I think that's what made, the, made it funny. We're just being honest. We're pretty weird people most of the time. But also the I'm thing a golfer that, who acts. What yeah. is funnier about that? Like, nothing funnier than that. The tool that's not used enough is comedy. I mean, even the Barbie movie, which had some very like heavy stuff in it, they use humor to try to sell it to folks and it works. Yeah. It, it's it's mind-blowing that it doesn't happen more often. I think comedy is the place where tough subjects can live for us to talk about. It's a coping mechanism. Yeah, that's really true. And I also feel like people will avoid watching something if they think it's going to like, yeah, preach yes. to them. But if they're like, oh, this seems fun, a family. Oh, I love yeah. that actress. Like, if they kind of can get in with this, the idea that it's going to still be entertainment, yeah. um, then you can really present some significant like ideas. Mm -hmm. And otherwise, I think they just wouldn't gravitate toward it. They're like, I'm not in the mood for that. My life's too hard. The world is too hard. The news is yeah, too scary. Yeah. You want to escape yeah. when you watch stuff sometimes.